Market with Balloons and DIY Balloon Art. Today we're going to learn a woven bonnet. This one actually is the hat that I wear when I'm not wearing this one. It's one of my very, very favorites and I think you guys are going to like it. So we need six balloons for this. And if you'll notice, this balloon is fully inflated with about a four finger tail. Right, so I'd say that's probably about maybe a two and a half inch tail or so, something like that, maybe three inches, something like this. Okay, so what we're gonna do, we have six balloons, they're all inflated to the same size, and we're actually going to tie these balloons together. So we're gonna tie all of our balloons together, and then we're going to twist our duplets together into what will become a six pack. All right, so now we have them all tied together and we're going to twist them together. Okay, so now here is the hardest part. We're going to put on each side a pinch twist. So what that means is we're going to take a little bubble, we're going to twist it, and then essentially what we're going to do is we're going to kind of squish the two ends of the bubble to each other and twist it in, just like that. So it looks like a little ear or bean. And then we're going to take another balloon, flip it over, and do the exact same thing on the other side, just like so. Okay, so now we have kind of like um, like the spokes of a wheel or kind of looks like a little octopusy. And actually when you do this, people are always like, oh, what is it, what is it? Because at this point they can't figure it out. And you're gonna find we're gonna use this base for a lot of things. All right, so now what we're gonna do is we're going to take a bubble it's about a four finger bubble or so. So again, probably about a three inch bubble there. And now you want, this is gonna be our vertical bubble. So we're kind of making spokes. Your vertical bubble is going to control how much space there is between, um, between the weaves. And your, your horizontal bubble is gonna control how long it is, how wide it is. You'll see this in a minute. So to start out with, we want our horizontal bubble to be slightly larger than our vertical bubble. Okay, just like this. You see, it's slightly larger, like that. Okay, and now we're gonna take the next balloon and we wanna match that horizontal bubble. So you can see that we're matching it. And we wanna twist them together, just like so. Okay, so now we have this kind of makes a little triangle. And now we're gonna come, come over to the next balloon and we're gonna do the exact same thing. And now we're gonna match that horizontal one again, making it slightly larger. And the reason is because if we make it slightly larger, it'll turn into a circle. If we make it slightly smaller, it'll turn into a dome. And we don't want a dome for this. We want kind of a circle-ish. Okay, and we're gonna do it again. And we're just gonna go all the way around, just like this. Okay, so you can see that here too, like you can't necessarily tell what it's gonna be yet. It kinda looks like a ship's wheel or something. Okay, so now when we're doing this last one, basically what you're gonna do is you're just gonna kinda sew it in, right? So you just kinda put it under and through. All right, so here we go. We got our, our captain's wheel. All right, now what we're gonna do is we wanna go up a level, but we don't want it to be a big space. We want it just to basically lay right on top of the bubble before it. So we're just gonna make a very small, tiny, tiny little bubble, okay? And so that's gonna get us up to the next level. And we're gonna do that on both balloons. So there, can you guys see that? There you go, all right. And now we want this bubble to be slightly larger than the one before it. Okay, so we're just gonna kind of measure it across, just a tiny bit larger, just like that. And now we're going to continue around until we've done that on all six. There actually is some sort of mathematical formula to get it exactly perfect, but I'm not a math person. So I deal more in approximations. Okay, and here you go. And one more. Okay. And again, when we come to this last one, we're going to kind of put it through and kind of sew it in, just like that. Okay, so now I've gone out. Now I want to come back in. So now if we're going to shorten the side, this, this uh, horizontal bubble, that's going to start bringing it in. So again, I'm going to go with a tiny bubble, 
because I don't want any negative space in this particular hat. And now I'm going to go shorter than this, just like so. And there, let's see, can you see that? There we go. And we're going to go all the way around. One more time, and so you see, since we're going shorter, it kind of it kind of brings it down underneath it. And the reason that I'm doing six colors is because that makes it easier for you guys to follow the pattern. Okay, one more right here, <laughs> and it's kind of hard for me to twist backwards like this. So, all right, and we get to this last one again, and you see, I'm putting it through. And I, I usually put it through twice. I like to make them really secure. Okay, and I'm going to come in again just a little bit because this is a very big hat. So again, we're going to take that bubble. So we go up a level. See, just like that. Now it kind of looks like a jellyfish. And there you go. You can see it kind of going around. I feel like on this one I almost should turn around to show you it. It might even be easier. <laughs> like this. And sometimes you accidentally want to pull the wrong color. So always stop and check your pattern. Make sure that you're bringing the right color over or the right balloon over. It gets really confusing when you're using six of the same color. Okay, and now, oh, we don't have a lot of purple left. Oh, that's because it's Blue's turn, you see? I just told you. All right, so now, before we close it, this is actually where you're gonna wanna measure the head of the person that's wearing it. So I think I've got a model somewhere out there. Ah, uh, yes. My lovely assistant, Sarah, thank you. All right, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna kinda measure it on her head and see where it's gonna fit, and then that will determine what size I want this very last bubble to be. Okay, and so then I, you see I twisted it off once I kind of measured it, and I'm just gonna bring it around, kind of sew it across. Okay, and now I'm gonna kind of stretch them all. Just gonna give them a little, good little stretch, because I wanna get just a little bit more length out of them. Be gentle though, right? You don't wanna put a friction tear. Okay, and I'm just gonna twist the bubble off, and I'm just going to kind of sew it through right there. Twist the bubble off, sew it through, and this is going to kind of make like the little, little floopy thingies. And same thing here. Sew it off, twist it around. I actually can't believe I haven't shown you this hat before since it's one that I wear so often. Okay, so you can see how I'm just twisting this bubble right in here, and that makes our little, our little wingy things. And then I want to give them a little bit of shape. I mean, you could just leave them flat like this, but I want to like kind of gently bring it up a little bit and give it just a little kind of curve. So you see, I'm just going to squeeze it and kind of do that to give it a little shape and train it a little bit. Go all the way around. Okay, and then if it's too tight, what you can do is you can just kind of gently put your hands inside and stretch it out a little bit. Remember, these are balloons. They're made to do your bidding. Okay, and then you can just place it on the head of your model. And there you go. And doesn't she look great in that? Adorable. <laughs> like us on Facebook. That's right. And don't forget to like the video, comment, and if you really love me, subscribe to my channel. And pass it on to your friends.